What's up tricksters? My name is Charlatan and today I'm going to give you my top 5 professional tips and tricks that will improve and fix your aim in Valorant. I get countless of questions on my live streams about this topic so I decided to make one video where I'm going to answer to all of your questions about aiming in this game. I said this multiple times on my streams but I will repeat it once again. Aim is the easiest thing to improve and fix in any FPS game because you're practicing it every single day and every single time you actually play the game. And it doesn't matter if you're playing unrated games, ranked matches or you're simply practicing with bots or aim trainers, your aim will naturally improve over time and it will get you to top 5% of players in any video game that you play. But in order to improve and fix your aim you need to know how to do it and on what things you should pay close attention when you are doing it and that is where I'm going to help you right now. Now. And as you already know, we have officially been partnered with Twitch and I will be streaming exclusively on twitch.tv slash charlatan every single Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Central European Summer Time, which is 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time for my dear Americano banditos. So make sure to tune in because I will be doing a lot of custom games, coachings, VOD reviews and when the ranked games comes out we are going to push for top 100 European players. The reasons why I moved my stream to Twitch instead of YouTube, uh, I'll explain it in some other video or some Q&A like later, later, but for now let's jump straight into the action. Question number one which I get a lot on my streams is when to one tap, when to burst fire and when to go for the full spray control. Shooting in this game is fairly similar to CSGO but it is not identical and same goes for the movement. One tapping is when you shoot one bullet at a time and you try to rip off the head of your enemies. One tapping in this game is extremely good and it is the second best way to kill your targets in Valorant. The main reason for this is because first bullet accuracy is extremely precise and there are a lot of weapons in this game that will destroy your targets with a headshot. If you are able to consistently rip off the heads of your enemies with Sheriff, Vandal, Phantom or Guardian, you will become unbeatable Demon King in this game. But bear in mind that only Vandal and Guardian have enough damage on longer range to kill enemies with one bullet to the head. That is why I personally prefer Vandal and Guardian over Phantom at the moment, but I still use Vandal and Guardian when I'm attacking or defending mid to long range corridors, for an example A long on Haven, and I use Phantom when I'm attacking or defending close combat angles, for an example C garage on Haven. If you want to see my full comparison of Vandal and Phantom you can check this video right here. Now the best way to shoot in Valorant is with burst firing. Burst firing is when you shoot between 3 to 7 bullets, then you stop shooting, you reset your spray control and then you burst fire again. The number of bullets depends on the weapon that you are using and it is just something that you develop over time based on your feeling for the game. This way of shooting is the best for most of the players in Valorant, especially for people that are not confident in their one tap potential. So this guide is not for Scream. I personally prefer this way of shooting with automatic weapons myself. Even though I am able to one tap my targets with great consistency, sometimes it is much better to secure your kills with burst firing. When I am engaging in the combat where I am 100% confident that I will be using a burst firing technique, I always aim at the neck or upper chest of my enemies. The main reason for that is because vertical recoil will bring my third or fourth bullet to the enemy's head location and guarantee me the kill. One big note to remember, reset time for weapons accuracy in Valorant is a bit higher than in CSGO, which in high ranks usually means that if you are not able to kill your targets with first burst fire, you are probably going to die while trying to go for the second burst fire onto the same enemy, because your weapon won't be 100% accurate at that time. And the worst way of shooting in Valorant unfortunately is full spray control, unfortunately for CSGO players of course. <sighs> full spray control. When you are trying to unload whole magazine of your weapon onto your targets, that is the full spray control. Vertical and horizontal recoils in Valorant are easy to control, but the spray patterns are completely random. For the first 7 to 9 bullets you have to control your vertical recoil and after that you are entering horizontal madness. I made a several guides and tutorials on my channel that can help you control recoil in this game and upgrade your aim in Valorant. The main reason why you should never go for the full spray is because the bullets are 
you're going in a completely random directions. If you already have to go for the full magazine in order to spray down multiple enemies that are coming your way and transfer your spray between them, I highly recommend praying to God before doing it. Spray patterns can be controlled over time in Valorant with some consistency levels, but the game is generally built to favor one tapping and burst firing. Question number dos that I get a lot is whether you should use Covex, Aimlab and other aiming software to improve your aim. Aim is a really complex technique which consists of multiple elements. Those elements are crosser placement, pre-aiming, pre-shooting, reflexes, one tapping, spray control, burst firing, tracking, flicking targets, etc. Each of these elements you practice in a different way. The best way to practice crosser placement, pre-aiming and pre-shooting is to create empty custom server alone and practice these techniques for an hour or two each day. Basically you just create custom server, let's say on Haven maybe, and today you want to practice your crosser placement, clearing angles, pre-aiming and pre-shooting at sea long area. You pick up the weapon, random weapon whichever you want to use, stop the game timers and you can start Start your practice. While you are engaging into sea long area and bomb site, clear every single angle one by one with a crosser placement where you think the enemy's head location might be in the real game scenario. This is just one way to practice these type of aiming techniques. There are multiple others that professional players use in team environments, but I will cover those in some of my other videos in future because this practice you can do alone at any time. The best way to practice one tapping, burst firing, spray control, flicking and tracking is with aimbots and that match. At the moment we still don't have that match in Valorant, but you can use my personal practice and warm-up routine which I explain in this video right here. I would personally recommend you to put great focus on one tapping, burst firing and flicking the targets because those techniques you will use the most in Valorant. And finally we come to Coax, Aimlab and external software. These software are the best for practicing your reflexes, your flicking, agility and precision of your aim. I personally don't use these software because I have over 20,000 hours in FPS games and my reflexes are pretty pretty good so I practice my aim while playing the game or inside the actual game that I'm playing. In this example it is Valorant. If you have problems with reflexes I would highly recommend you to use Covex or Aim Lab to develop higher reflex times. Now the third tip which will improve your aiming and movement in the same time is to keep the default movement mode to run. In in games like Valorant and CSGO, most of the times you're going to clear the angles, corners and positions while running. So called shifting or walking you're going to use only to cover your footsteps and reach certain positions of the map without giving out any information to the enemies. Basically in this game you will run around 80% of the times and walk maybe 20 or 10%. If you have to press the shift button constantly in order to run you're limiting your movement a lot and your aim will suffer. And above everything else you're limiting one of your fingers to only one button which is never good. You don't want to hold a freaking shift with your pinky 80% of the time in Valorant. You still need to crouch, you still need to do other things. Don't limit your movement for no reason. I don't care what is your excuse, from what game you're coming, but having walk as a default movement in Valorant is suicide for your aim and movement agility. Stop doing it. It's time to stop. Trust me. Try using run for a few weeks and you will see great improvement in both your aim and peaking. The next question which I get a lot is when should you crouch and why? Crouching is mainly used as a movement technique to reach certain spots of the map or to hide from your enemies. I also personally use it to engage enemies around the corners and crouch peek them so I can surprise them. When you crouch your headshot position is also lowered. In lower ranks you shouldn't use crouch that much in gunfights because people in lower elo tend to have really bad crosser placement and you will make their jobs 10 times easier. In higher elos on the other side, players usually aim at a head level location, so when you crouch you will force them to readjust their aim and maybe miss you completely. Always pay a close attention in the game, are you dying when you crouch too much? If the answer is yes, that means that your enemies have bad crosser placements, that you're playing against potatoes, you're making their job easier and you should stop crouching. Dug -dug 
damn it, god damn it. When you crouch, the vertical recoil of your weapons is significantly lowered. That is why I crouch a lot when I use Vandal, because it is just easier to control vertical burst fire with this weapon when you're crouched. And the final, fifth tip that is directly related to my crouching in-game, you should always be 100% steady when you're shooting in Valorant. I use counter strafing and strafing techniques to clear the angles and corners in this game, which I've explained in this video right here. Basically, if I know that the enemy is behind a certain corner, I will use only my A or D key to engage that enemy. As soon as I want to shoot the enemy, I'll press the opposite key to stop and start shooting, or I will engage the enemy with A and D key in combination with crouch. So I will go right with the D key, and in the same time I will crouch when I want to shoot my target, and I will be 100% steady, and my aim will be 100% accurate. Of course, in the same time you should release your D key or press the counter A key so you fully stop. With crouch peeking and counter strafing, you're able to gain that 100% accuracy much faster. This is especially visible and noticeable if you're playing operator. The red dot on operator indicates when your shot is 100% accurate. As you can see right here, you enter that accuracy much faster if you use crouch or if you use a counter strafing technique than when you would, you would just run away, run around like a, like a boosted bonobo. Boosted bonobo, you were driving around, you're driving around like a crazy madman. This ain't initial D, this is Valorant. As soon as you see that red dot appears on your screen, shoot and kill your enemies with operator and remember when you are 100% accurate so you can do the same thing with phantoms, vandal, sheriffs and other weapons in this amazing game. I hope that you enjoyed and liked this little top 5 tips and tricks video and if you did hit that subscribe turn on those goddamn notifications spank that bell icon so don't miss any new content from me myself charlatano leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below did any of these tips help you actually improve in game if yes good if no i have many more coming your way my dear friends in the meantime, you can also share this video and spread the word about this channel with everyone you know. Let's, let's expand this community together. Let's rise and improve together. Let's become strongest community in this whole YouTube, internet, universe, whatever. In the description, you have other social media where you can follow me for some future live streams and announcements. And you can also join my official Discord server. I want to keep in touch with all of you, my dear friends. I'm yours, one and only, more than all the Valorant community. Thank you for watching and cut.